I have two photos here. I'd like to take this person out of this photo and pop it in the foreground of this one. How do I do it? Well, the first thing I need to do is to take this person from here. How do I do that? Well, I have various lasso tools, so I could do my best and try and go around this person like this, and it's going to be very clumsy. It'll be a waste of time. So I'll deselect that. A better tool to use than the lasso tool is the magnetic lasso tool. Now what it does is it tries to pick up where the edges are different. So this lady's arm is very different here to the edge of this building. Obviously if I'm zoomed in it'll be better so I'm going to hold the Alt key down and zoom in on this picture. And if I zoom right in then it's easier to see that edge. So, with this magnetic lasso tool selected, I just have to click. Can you see that tiny little circle just to the right of the magnet? Remember that when we come back to the end. So I'm just going to scroll down. I'm not holding that down anymore. I'm just moving this down and I've got to the end of the picture. Now I zoomed in and I need to scroll down a little bit more. And this is where holding the space bar down and moving that picture comes in handy. Let go of the space bar and I'm back on that tool. So keep selecting around this person and I'll stop recording now and come back when I've selected all of her. Now I'm getting very near the end. Remember I talked about that little circle? Can't see it there now, but there it is there again. And that's telling me if I click now, I'll have selected everything. Holding the control key scrolls sideways holding the ALT key and scrolling the mouse zooms in and out. So there you can see I've selected her. So I can either cut it from here or copy. I'm just going to copy it. And now over here in the Taj Mahal, I'm just going to paste it. Control V. There she is there. I'll use my Move tool to select her. I can see these corners because my Transform tools are showing. If I hold the Shift key down, I can resize. And now I can place her anywhere I like. Now, remember, one of the things we can do is spin things around. One thing you might often do when you're moving somebody is, I'm just going to zoom out so you can see a little better. Right in the middle of each picture is this little star in the middle. So when you go to move someone sometimes you, you accidentally grab that little star and you put it, there it is there. What that that's the rotation point. So now if I was to rotate, you can see it's rotating around this axis here. Okay, so just be aware that that's what that little star is. So I'll pop that back in the middle. Resize her. And put her where I want. And accept those changes click off it and she's sitting there. Now you'll notice that she has come in on her own layer. When you paste into Photoshop, things paste on their own layer. 